you know, let's try to talk about what are your biggest takeaways that you think that uh, you want to offer to our audience? I think my biggest takeaway for this whole experience that we're going through, and um, and we've talked about this a little bit, is, is to see it as an opportunity to get new skills that can make your, pro- your practice more efficient going forward. Um, it's also an opportunity to spend a little bit more time with your family. I mean, I'm saving 30, 45 minutes a day in commute time that I can then sit and have breakfast with the kids, um, have lunch with them, read a book with them. Um, so I, I see this as an opportunity to, to push our abilities as attorneys and, to, and as we go forward technologically and spend a little bit more time with our family. Those are my big takeaways. Yeah, I think this is really the time that we all need to step up and be leaders, leaders for our firms, leaders for our clients, leaders for our communities, and, you know, and, and keep, keep our practices going. Uh, we need to be patient because we're going to have things aren't going to always work perfectly. We're going to have to work through technical issues and just, you know, be patient and mindful that, hey, at least you're not in the hospital on a ventilator or, or you're not going broke. Let's keep this thing going. Uh, you know, I think it's important we're going to have to acknowledge the feelings that people have, uh, our clients, our employees, our, you know, everyone else that, you know, you need to let them vent and then just say, look, we're working through this the best we can. Let's get this done. And I think the last thing is, you know, this is really a time with all the stress we're under that we really have to take care of ourselves. I mean, I'm getting back to, you know, if you live in a place where you can safely go out and walk or run, uh, you know, I'm lucky I live in a fairly, you know, fairly rural part. I mean, it's a, it's a little city, but there aren't, it's not very densely populated. So I can go out on the trails or on the street and stay more than six feet away from people uh, at all times. So, you know, I've been getting out and getting exercise done. That, that helps a lot on the, on the stress, uh, you know. And just the cabin fever. Yeah, just if you can get outside, you know, meditate, pray, whatever, read, whatever you need to do to get your mind off this situation, you know, turn off the social media, turn off the news and just let your brain recharge. Cause you know, if you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of anyone else. Uh, 